Looking at that club, who really thought we would win a state tournament other than us? That was a very special time because we weren't necessarily expected to win. If you look at that group of kids, we didn't have any big kids. Mark Bonney, six foot one on his tiptoes. Bonnie Howard, six feet tall. But everybody could handle the ball. Everybody shared the ball. Everybody played extremely hard. And nobody, not one person took credit. It was a team effort. They were fast. And they would hustle all the time. They were tough. They were winners. They wanted to win. Great bunch of ball players for high school kids. They were determined, they had plenty of fight, and they were willing to do anything it took to win. I think we were the only ones who thought we could beat Mascoma. Mascoma was loaded. Bigger than us, by much bigger than us. But we had five kids who can handle the ball and run up and down the floor. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the starting lineup for the 1988 Class M State Championship. For the Farmington Tigers, at forward. Number 13, sophomore Craig Whitman. At forward for the Tigers, number 10, junior Ron Howard. At center for Farmington, number 15, senior Mark Barney. For the Tigers at guard, number 5, senior Steve Seeley. And for the Tigers at guard, number 23, senior Mike Newton. Mike was driving crazy because he handled the pressure so well, but you also had Steve Seal could handle the ball, uh, Craig Whitten could dribble, you know, um, and then really all the guys could handle the ball. Mr. Seal hit that 35-foot runner just before the half. Three seconds and Farmington will have the ball and a chance to tie it up at the intermission. That's what Jim Adams does best. He's a Look shot at Seal. Oh! <laughs> that kind of gave us the confidence we needed for the second half, and the second half we outplayed him. Mutcher has it, and he's just running. What a pass inside to Howard! And Mutcher takes it right back out. 6.53 to go in the second. Mutcher. Well, they certainly haven't changed things much. He misses. Seal gets the rebound. And turn up the volume. Oh, my. That was a nice play, huh? Yeah. Whitten is on. Boy. Which is important, especially in a run and gun game, because anybody can pick up the slack. You don't have to rely on one superstar. And Mutcher is, though. Yes, he is. That's 22 points now. Towards the end of the third quarter, it's like, we got this. You know, there's, I don't think there was anything that could have happened that that would have changed that. You know, we just wanted it too bad as a group. 10 seconds. There goes Seal. Here he goes. He's been doing that all night. Three seconds. We're down to one. I think the big thing that I recollect was, is it was the community outpouring support. And the electricity that embodied the gymnasium and the noise was just awesome. And you just wanted to be a part of it because there was no other feeling like it. Uh, the number of people who went to see the game, the championship game, uh, filled Plymouth State. You know, that, yeah, you know, made you feel pretty good. The excitement of the boys team that year was, it was contagious. You just, you, you, you felt like you were part of it. We supported each other wholeheartedly. Um, we wanted them to win as much as they wanted us to win, and I think we were one big team. There's nothing quite like a basketball championship. I, I can't even put it to words sometimes when I think back about the, the game, the bus ride. Then when you went down the street, everybody's hang literally, I remember hanging out of windows. And people are hanging out their windows. First floor, second floor, windows, cheering, and it's like, this is crazy. And then when you get to the gymnasium, it was equally as mobbed. You know, it's just something you don't expect. 
but the community really appreciated the effort that we all gave in, uh, in bringing back what was brought back to the town because there was this place, oh, for many, many years, this town was just a fun place athletically to be. I made the bet with him, if we win, we can shave your head, and he agreed. And I don't recollect that comment. I think they fabricated it to this day. <laughs> okay. We had a bet. I go to get on the bus, and they all had these big razors in their pockets, and I go, what are the big razors for? Coach, you said if, this is the night of the finals, if we win a state tournament, we could shave your head. He said in the beginning of the year in November, he said if we won, we could shave his head. Shave it good! Shave! Shave it! I'm in trouble. <laughs> so that hair, we'll give it about How another hour or two? Uh, about probably another hour, and I'm not so sure they'll let me wear a hat in school. What he didn't expect is a complete shaved head. He thought we were going to take a little off the top, and I didn't realize <laughs> that's what we were supposed to do. And I came right down the middle with the razor. The rest is history. <laughs> Later in the evening, a lot of folks ended up with new hairdos. It was a time that I wish children now could experience. There's nothing like a basketball championship in Farmington. Nothing. When you're a junior, you can be denied, but you want to go out a winner. And we sure did. In 2006, the Hall of Fame Committee decided to add to our evening by acknowledging a team of major historical significance to Farmington's proud winning tradition. We've honored the 67-68 undefeated girls seasons. We've honored the 1970 state champions. We've honored the 1984 state champions. And tonight, we honor 1988. And before I call up the team, I do want to point out Back then, the cheerleaders and the players were quite friendly, and our two coaches from the cheerleading squad are here tonight, Cheryl Moody and Tracy Zito, came all the, up, all the way up from Maryland to come to this ceremony. So welcome, Tracy, and it's good seeing you. All right, let's reunite the 1988 Class M state champions. There's several of them here tonight. I'm going to introduce all of them, even the guys that couldn't make it. Introducing first the head coach, Mike Lee. Alan Hiltz. Chuck Witten. Scott Healy, Keith Byron, Ronnie Howard, Aaron Frost, Larry Bernier, Steve Seal, Mark Varney, and Mike Mutcher. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your 1988 Class M State Basketball Champions. Coach Lee, oh, I'm sorry, Craig Witten, Hall of Famer. I wrote him in a different column. <laughs> And Danny Place, he's in the same column as you. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, I had them all in one column, and then I had two names in another column. Coach Lee, some words. Thank you. Again, uh, congratulations to all the inductees tonight. Uh, Joel and the committee, you folks do a wonderful job putting this together. And if anybody's not proud, they need to be here so they can see what pride's all about, really. And these guys, well, I'll say it again, who in the world ever thought, other than us, them, we would have won that game that night? Man for man, that Mascoma team was loaded. And you don't know this, but when you're on, play, we played on television that night, if I recollect. 
Channel 9 did that live. So they pull you into this room before the game. They tell you when you get timeouts and when you don't get timeouts. Well, we're down eight in the first half, and I'm watching the clock. And I'm going to our assistant, Jose Casado, at the time. We need a timeout bad. He goes, just try to wait for the TV timeout. Try to wait for the TV timeout. Well, we waited for the TV timeout, and thankfully, we were still in the game. It was an eight-point game at the time. And consequently, we got our second breath. Sealy, you hit that runner. And as I think it was Mark in the interview said, you guys at the end of the third quarter knew what was going on. You just didn't want to be denied. Uh, the stories that we can tell are just endless, endless, endless. Being a state champion is special. Nobody else wins, there's only one winner. But everybody wins regardless. We just won the game. A few things. I could tell stories forever. <laughs> I really could. Craig Witten. Joel calls me up. Coach, Craig thinks he has more than 889 points. It's impossible. <laughs> totally impossible. Well, why? Because when we do foul shots at practice, the kids would have to take 25 and tell me how many they made. Well, this particular night, Craig says to me, Coach, I made 25 out of 23. <laughs> okay. Oh, the whole school, the whole team knew that. So when he asked about 889, I already knew the answer. Impossible. <laughs> totally impossible. But uh, on a brief note, though, Craig and I had the opportunity, as with Mike, we traveled all over this country with AAU, not just New England. We, I think, Mike, we went to Arkansas, Arkansas State, and played down in that part of the country. And with Craig, we went out to Washington State and played out there against, at the time, some of the best kids in the country. So when you say kids from Farmington, regardless if you're a male or a female, you can't play. They can play. These little towns have great athletes. If you want it bad enough, it'll happen. It's that simple. Joel, you guys run an, off, an awesome, awesome program. And I'm so proud to be part of what's been here. Mike Whaley, you said 1980, I think it was 1990, you wrote an article. Basketball, or Farmington, has just seen a significant time in basketball. I think it was 88, 89, 90. I read this the other day. I think the comp combines winning, I think it was like 112 and 5. I don't know the exact number of wins, but it was a very significant time in this community because we were a family. I don't think there's one athlete here that won't say that. Didn't matter if you're on the girls' team, guys' team. We were all in it together, and it was a great, great, great time to live in this town and go to school here. Thank you. Hey, guys. Hey, who else wants to say some words? We're going to open up the mic to any of you. So, Barney, no? Sealy, a couple words? Mewch, come on. Talk about the experience. Nobody? Craig? No, nobody? Danny? Chuck? Wow, I'll tell you a story about one night at practice when I was wearing my Hulkamania sweatshirt <laughs> and Steve Seal and some of the guys pigpiled me and got that thing dirty and I ran almost as fast as Steve Seal that night. So how's that for athletics? <laughs> <laughs> All right. One more round of applause. The 1988 Class M State Champions.